Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a quick and easy exponential equation. We have 6 to the power x plus 6 to the power x plus 6 to the power x divided by 3 to the power x plus 3 to the power x equals 24. And we're going to be solving for x values. Now, properties of exponents are very important. I'm planning to make a video, a lecture video on properties of exponents because we use them a lot and I think it would make sense. And we talk, uh, you know, about the rules in each video. I try to do that. So first property that we have here is actually not necessarily a property of exponents, but more like maybe common sense or you can call it, I guess, um, algebra, factoring, whatever. But when you add something like x plus x plus x or a plus a plus a, it is equivalent to 3 times a. Make sense? So you could also achieve that result by taking out 6 to the power x. I know it's kind of obvious, but uh, if you factor out 6 to the x, you get 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3, and this gives us 3 times 6 to the power x. It's a well-known property, very obvious, but we take things for granted, and sometimes it's important to, to know how these properties work. Anyways, so that's what we're going to use here. Let's go ahead and simplify this, because as is, this equation is kind of hard to solve because I have a lot of exponentials in there all over the place. I can cross multiply, but I don't think that's going to be very helpful. If you know of another way to do it, please let me know in the comment section. So here's what I'm going to do for the numerator. I'm going to write six times, I mean three times six to the power x. And for the bottom, since I have the three to the x twice, I'm going to write it as two times three to the power x equals 24. Awesome. This is the very first step. So taking uh, each step at a time is important. Make sure you understand what is going on in each step. So that's the first step. S next step is going to be simplifying this. Obviously, we can cross cancel, we can cross multiply, so on and so forth. But one thing that I want you to keep in mind is we're dividing two exponentials. So we're going to use another property here, which I just mentioned in the previous video. So if you have something like a to the power n divided by b to the power n, that can almost always be written as a over b to the power n. So we use a common exponent and divide the basis. That's how it's done. So it'll take care of this part. So we kind of have to take care of the numbers. And to take care of the numbers, that's something that I almost always use, a very nice property of, um, I don't know, arithmetic, I guess, uh, for basic operations, cross-canceling stuff. For example, 3 goes into 24 eight times. I will just divide both sides by 3. And this is a one... Do you have to write it? I don't think so. But let's write it. So we have a 2 here, and definitely we can do cross multiplication here. You don't have to cross multiply everything, by the way. You can kind of keep it like this, and then multiply the 2 times the 8, and that's going to give you 16. You see? It can be done like that too, partially. Now let's focus on 6 to the x divided by 3 to the x. And that is 2 to the power x using our property here. Okay? 2 to the power x equals 16. Wow, that was easy. Okay, I know some people said, like, I can do this with my eyes closed or I can do this with two, in 2 seconds. Okay, I don't know. What's the record? x equals 4 would be the answer. I think uh, one fun thing about this problem would be try to solve it mentally without any paper and pencil. Uh, that would really help uh, improve your um, math overall. <laughs> okay, so x equals 4 is the solution, the answer, and now we can go ahead and plug it in, 6 to the 4 plus 6 to the 4 plus 6 to the 4, divide by 3 to the 4 plus 3 to the 4. Now, obviously, when checking your answer, you don't want to evaluate 6 to the power 4 because that would be really complicated. Not really, actually, 6 squared squared. So what is 6 squared? That is 36 squared, and I believe that is 1,296. Or you can also write it as... 216 times 6 because this is 6 to the third power. So that is 1,296 1, plus that, or we can just write times 3. 3 to the fourth is 81 times 2. And then you can do the math, and you're going to end up with the same answer. And what is that answer going to be? 24, of course, because our original equation set it equal to 24. So when you got 24, that means you got the right answer. And this can be simplified, by the way, and this can also be simplified. And when you divide, you're hopefully going to get the answer from here. Alrighty, 
and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye